So this question is a simplify question. I know that because it's short. All simplify questions are between one and three lines long. And every simplify question will contain either an equation or, like what we have in this case, an expression. So I'm going to rewrite my expression, 6x to the 8th y squared plus 12x squared y squared. And I'm going to ask myself, well, how do I simplify this expression? Well, the first rules of simplification always have to do with finding a common factor, um, especially if there aren't any like terms to add together and things like that, right? So you have a binomial or a trinomial or any type of polynomial where there aren't any common fa any common terms. You want to see, well, how do I factor that? So in this case, what is the greatest common factor between 6 and 12? Well, that would be 6, right? So that's my GCF there. And then what's the greatest common factor between x to the 8th and x squared? Well, that would be x squared. x squared is the largest factor, common factor between those two. What's the greatest common factor between y squared and y squared? Well, it's just itself. It's y squared. Okay, so there's my GCF. Now, what would go inside parentheses here? What would I need to multiply 6x squared y squared by in order to recreate this first term here? Well, it would just be x to the 6th, right? Because I already have the 6 taken care of. x squared times x to the 6 gives me the x to the 8th. And again, I already have the y squared. So that's taken care of now. And then I'm going to have a plus sign here. And now I ask myself, what do I multiply 6x squared y squared by to recreate my 12x squared y squared? Well, that is just going to be 2, right? Because again, 6 times 2 gives me 12. And I already have the x squared and y squared here in the GCF. So just x to the 6 plus 2. So let's see where that is in the answer choices. It looks like it's right here at choice C. Therefore, our correct answer here is choice C. Um, I want to let you know that you could have also taken this exact same strategy and moved in the opposite direction. What I mean by that is you look at the answer choices and say, which one of these answer choices, when I simplify it, will equal my starting expression, right? Is it true that if I multiply this times that, that I will get this. It's not true, and that's why A would be gone. The same would, would happen for choice B, not true. Choice C, you would see it is true, and that's why choice C is the correct answer. And of course, choice D, you would see that it's not true at all there either. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Two different ways to go about it, from question to answer or from answers to question. In either case, it's just a simplified question.